good morning and welcome back to Poshcast Camping. We've been a little bit sneaky. We've not told you where we're going or where we are. But if I just do a circle, you'll see that we're not alone. We're at the Norfolk Motorhome and Campervan Show at Cossey, which is on the Norfolk Showground. And um, we got here late yesterday. We had a really busy day um, with child minding, um, all sorts of things going on and we just really couldn't couldn't pick up a camera and record anything so we just thought we'll get here we'll let you know where we are at the start of the video like we do and uh, show you around so we're with Sheila and Joe Sheila and Joe are just here and they've gone across to the show because we got a little bit of a distraction this morning we met our friends and I'll see if you can guess who they are we don't have to guess for too much longer. Just three car three motorhomes along. Got the GoPro out today, Bob. <laughs> oh, we're having one or two uh, short, sharp showers. Sue's, uh, Sue and Jenny are hiding underneath that little canopy of uh, this giant caravan. Little teardrop with that. Look. There's interest in the number of gadgets and gizmos you get at the shows these days. Right next to there, look, you've got a a little tow car, a little Citroen that's clearly been sold um, just showing how popular they are, the little tow car and on the top of the uh, teardrop this Bob uh, around here look at that look. it's pouring with rain but you can get them, get the idea amazing isn't it? so if you're limited for space or storage at home you can have one of those I don't know if I want to be up there in a thunderstorm though. Oh, look at that. Excellent. There's an inbuilt entertainment system I can hear as well. Excellent. Ah, getting the full demo now. A little fridge. So. <laughs> and knife drawer. Yes, it was very cathartic. Uh, I surprised myself when it was raining. Uh, I wasn't sure. More cupboard space. There we go. Yeah. So you've got plenty of storage in the back there. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, sink, the all important sink, yeah. And I'm glad I don't know. Really? And you have to be honest with me. And the little pop as well. Thank you very much. Let's just have a look at those wheels. We'll have a little look inside, spare wheel. A little look inside just to show you what's uh, in here. Um, wow, look at that. <laughs> There's the entertainment system. I could hear things going on. There's a radio and also some uh, TV going on. More storage, of course. Plenty of room to tuck your feet under there at night. And, uh, let's go around the front with a quick look. I think it's just stopped raining as well, so we'll get a, get a look at the tow hitch. And uh, more another storage box on the front. Oh, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? Real outdoor living. We uh, come round here. And there's the awning. Fabulous. Yeah, there's plenty of room for two in there. And there's a door into the van from that side. So who said this is a motorhome channel, eh? <laughs> I love these quirky things. Yeah, yeah. They're going to catch on someday, aren't they? Yeah, well, I was just saying that. <laughs> it would go well with my Defender. I reckon we could tow one of those. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. Uh, really uh, good. Bring Extra bedroom. <laughs> Jenny says no. Jenny said no, did she? Oh, fair enough. Uh, it would probably be me that would be uh, sent to the doghouse. Yeah. Well, we've come to the Simpsons of Great Yarmouth stand. Simpsons are always here at the Norfolk um, uh, Motorhome and uh, Camper Rancho. They're always here. We've seen a nice Rapido. It's just over here, Sue Spot. That's fifty-six thousand pounds, and it's a 2015 model, coach built. Let's have a look. There you go. And Sue's waiting in the doorway there to show us what it's like. 
<laughs> Let's go in uh, quickly before it starts raining again. And uh, what you found, Sue? Filming the cab. Yeah, we'll film the cab. That's nice cab. It's over to you. There's loads of space to sit in. We come in then. Right. Do as you're told, Trev. One, two, three, four, five, six. You probably fit about seven, eight people in here, couldn't you? Now, as soon as you look at that lounge area, you think leather, don't you? And there's a cupboard underneath the seats where you could put your shoes. Yep. Just inside the door. Just down here. And a drop down bed. Up here. Lovely feel of space, Sue. So. Four seat belts. Yeah, it's yep. lovely. I really like it. And then you've got the kitchen area here. And what we like, you've got a double sink. This one is made up like a drainer, but you can take this plastic thing out and it's another sink. So you've got two sinks, which is handy. And then you've got the three gas burners, one there and two there. Okay. A little spice rack, an extractor fan, kitchen roll holder. And then obviously cupboards in here, I'm going to try and open the doors. And then underneath, cupboard under here. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming that pulls out, but I don't pull it out. I'm not sure about that. Okay. What do you reckon? I think the button's got stuck. It's yeah, all, I pulled out anyway. Got stuck, yeah. uh, it's a big drawer, deep drawer, and you've got space to put your bottles in at the bottom, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, we won't force the catch. So it's a good storage mm. cupboard under Very there. Good. Then you've got the oven and storage underneath. Mm -hmm. That's a combi oven, isn't it? Yeah. And opposite that, you've got a big cupboard here, and then there you've got Ooh. your Morphe Richards microwave. Yep. And then you've got the Fridge freezer, separate freezer that we used to have. And then through here, we've got the bedroom. And pull along door. Right. Yep. And then in the bedroom two is single beds. two singles. Yep. And the wardrobe there and loads of cupboards. And then you've got the kitchen area here. Yep. Yeah. And then you've got the kitchen area here. And then washroom. There you go then. Oh, and you've got some here where you can use this area to put bikes. Oh, yeah, there's got got some demons, anchors there, demons. yeah. yeah. So, Gee. in here, you've got a nice sized shower. You probably fit two in there. <laughs> Let's start there. <laughs> what do you reckon? And then sink, and then storage underneath. Yeah. A lot of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And then. Look at the size of that cupboard, Audi heating. Ah, lovely. Loads of storage. Yeah. Lovely, comfortable Audi heating. On a coach built like this, they're really good, aren't they? Radiator. Yep. And then obviously storage here. here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And another cupboard in there as well. I think that probably slides along, doesn't it? This. I'm not going to slide it, but it looks like that slides across. Yeah. So, so what do you think of that one, Sue? I thought that was really nice. There's yeah. a lot in it. And That's a rapido. Space there. Have you filmed that? No, I didn't check out the garage. Um, An LPG, which is cheaper, isn't it? I expect this is probably locked. Oh. No, it's not. Mm. <laughs> Go on. I do. That's a man thing. Oh, there we are. That's where the toilet is. So there's a little bit there, of storage yeah. space. There's your loads of light in there. It looks like you've got an external shower, Sue. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Nice van. Uh, so 2015. Rapido. And it looks like there's a camera on the back there too. Still on the Simpsons of Great Yarmouth stand. And if you like a small coach built, a little dinky one, the Eldest. So it's at 48 and a bit thousand pounds, the Accordo range. And uh, you can see uh, quite a popular little van again. Several people want to look inside. This is the 105, so it's a little shorty, under six metres. Let's go and have a look inside in just a second. And on the rear, you've got the uh, rear view camera and bike rack as well. 
So what do you think of this one then, Sue? It's nice and light and bright. And light, very light and bright. So it? it's going to be a lot of little TARDIS, isn't it? There's two benches that you can lounge on. Yeah. Now this is a bit like Sheila and they Joe's. They swivel round, don't they? Yep. That's a manual. Okay. It's got a reverse and camera. Yep. Well, the, the rear camera. Yep. Nice shelving around there, and the and the window over the cab has uh, yeah. given it a feel of That's space, isn't it? That's a Peugeot, isn't it? Yep. So you, this is going to form your double bed. And then inside, you've got to your right, you've got your fridge. That's an unusual looking fridge. Dramatic mm. fridge. Yeah. Um, dual or combination oven. Yep. Okay, right. Then you've got the, quite a nice black sink. Yeah, it's unusual, isn't it? It's like an enamel, isn't it? Yeah. And then you've got your three gas burners. Yep. That's nice. And then cupboards above. Yeah. And now we li I like these cupboards on our um, on our el on our eldest caravan. Um, with the, the kitchen lockers always had this front square finish, and the lounge lockers, as you can see, more of an aircraft sort of locker. Mm. Quite, uh, quite a nice design. Um, yeah, you just had the fridge open. What's that indicator? That's uh, your gas. That gas on and off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, storage underneath. Mm -hmm. Under here. Oh, that's a good, good cupboard. The yeah. It's just ho hold a lot, won't it? Yeah. Then opposite that, you've got what looks like storage here. It's in this cupboard. Yeah. Oh look. What's dinky? It's quite a tall. These are drawers. Oh yes, yeah, that's quite handy. handy. Just inside the door. I'll tell you, you'd have, yeah. <laughs> you'd have to have small smalls, wouldn't you? <laughs> you've got um, your TV it, aerial, ward, wardrobe, and you've got a table in here. Your TV uh, aerial extender is there. Yep. Good. And then washroom. Rear washroom. Wow. Nice size. You've got a nice shower, separate shower cubicle. Yep. Quite a deep shower tray, isn't There's it? There's a light in there as well, which is handy. Really deep shower tray. Yep. And then you've got your little wash basin little. storage underneath. Yep. Okay. Nice. And then your. Uh, and more storage here, look. Electric flushing toilet and. Oh. and a little cupboard. Yeah, for adequate and two hooks and a, a push-up roof light. Very good. And yeah, it's quite light because above you've got two hinges. Skylight here, a, yeah, above the kitchen. Wind up one above the cab. Yeah, there is a lot of light coming through the roof, isn't yeah. there? There's a lock on here as well, so you can lock the bathroom door lock. Yep. That's unusual. Look, it's novel. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Attention to detail, eh? Yeah. <laughs> now just look at the shine on that. Now we've not seen uh, Hembill. This is a little uh, transporter from VW, and uh, it, it's our little Smurfs cousin. <laughs> uh, you need nearly fifty thousand uh, pounds. The total uh, cost of this, all, with all the extras, is. Uh, Seventy-six and a half thousand. So uh, you can see why we liked it. It's uh, just packed full of goodies. And uh, Sue's going to show us. There's all leather inside top, there, top. isn't it, Sue? This is a bed, isn't it? Yeah. You can put these curtains up all the way round. Curtains all round. And then we've got a rock and roll bed. Yep. So you can take five passengers. Three yep. seat butts there. Also two in the cab. It's an automatic Volkswagen Crafter, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Volkswagen Transporter, which is a little uh, little baby cousin, really. Okay. And then you've got all these little cupboards. Yep. And here's the sink. Look at this sink. Yeah. Do you want to can you see? You it? want to take the camera? You take the camera. There you go. I can't see one. There you go, you can we'll see it. So that's the sink, the little tap that lifts up. From these little gas struts. That one lifts up and you've got oh you've got a little hob. 
And then this one, what's in here? Well, that one doesn't. Yes, it does. Uh, I presume that's the fridge. I think it must be the fridge. And this little area here. Yeah, that's all the fridge. It's very different. And then you've got all these little, little cupboards. And that's just underneath the sink. There's another little one here. Or a drawer. Another little drawer. And then you've got cupboard, cupboard space underneath. Oops, it must be balanced. Oh, oh no, this, this looks like a safe and a water container. Yeah. Oh no, it's a gas container. That's where your gas goes. Yeah. Your gas goes. Yeah. So that's where your bottle goes. Because go, that's yeah. inside the building. In a metal chamber, yeah. It's not outside, is it? That's right. And then I don't know what goes under here. And that's all to do with your bed. Yeah, it must be. And this. Yeah. And that. That's right. And all your controls up there. Yeah. And uh, it looks the like there's some, yeah, some power up there. And there's some uh, speakers in the back. Open windows and little curtains. I love the slidey windows and curtains. Snap yeah. passes. Yeah. And then in the back. Should we go around the back? Go in the back. Yep. Yep. Lots of storage and your electric supplies in there. Then underneath. More storage, so. Yeah. Yeah. And this is where the um, the seats will come back, and you can fold this uh, up. It gives you more space inside as well. Yeah. And you've got a lovely uh, drop-down door, which people use as a canopy. Uh, love the colour, don't you? Yeah. Let's have a look around the other side here. I've got an awning round there too on the side there, where you can attach an awning. Yeah. Around the other side, there's so an awning. So Sue says there's an awning rail. I mean, there's no canopy, but there's an awning. This rail. is really lovely. Loving the wheels. Do you have one of them in? Um, a bit small. A bit small. Yeah. No Beautiful though. No toilet. No, you're right. That's a great fun leisure vehicle. Some nice little accessories at the show. We've just um, bought a, uh, one of these, a smart rod for hanging up towels, and uh, we've also bought some mats. I'm going to do a video with all the little mods that we've done to uh, Smurf, so uh, stick around. That'll be very soon. Only quite a few already. Here comes the rain. Yeah, it's now starting to rain again, so the girls are come inside. It's a lovely little camper. What do you think, Anne? That's nice. <laughs> nice little washroom? Yeah, that's got a bowl like ours. Okay, do you want to take the camera? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Am I looking, have I got the right way round? No. Take this out. I'm the wrong way round. Um, so, this is the washroom. <laughs> um, that's a little sink like we've got. You can fit your face in. And this is obviously the shower attachment that comes out here. And you've got a little cupboard in here. Put a few bits in there and some shelves. This is the shower tray and the toilet. And then you've got the shower curtain. And quite a, quite a good size window. Um, Trevor and Sheer at the back. We're, we're hiding from the bad weather. It's quite cosy. This extendable table. Oh dear, what have you done to the table? Oh, yeah, we go. So that's good for a small motorhome. You can, you can easily fit four here to eat, couldn't you? You've got lovely leather front seats that swivel round. Um, and that's a <laughs> rain. That's, yeah. that's a um, manual, a Fiat, and some storage, cab, like. the storage above the cab, Looks and then like you've got trimmer uh, heating. heating, you've got a nice sized roof light, 
open a window and then you've got a here. big cupboard here. It's quite a big cupboard. Yeah, you can fit all sorts in there. Be your food and then away. this is quite a nice little area. You've got a good sized window. And then you've got four passengers. So you've got these two I don't know if I've got it got it in. Two seats here. And then you've got your two lovely leather captain's chairs in the front. And if I come back this is a sliding door with a nice big window. And then above here is a cupboard. Above here. And then if you come down here, you've got two burner hob and a sink, decent sized sink. And then you've got lots of drawers. Can you open it please, Jen? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's quite a good sized drawer, isn't it? So you've got three drawers for, st for storage and, and a, and so they're soft clothes. a little cupboard here, that's another one. And then you've got a cupboard here and then I'm a bit close really. This is the fridge, let me move out. That's a good, that's a good size fridge. You fit a lot in here, crikey, and that's a nice height as well. You've got a big separate <laughs> um, compartment at the top here for the freezer. And this is a door. Cupboard underneath, a substantial size cupboard underneath. And more storage here. Two here, two in the back. And then, and then you've got this big double bed at the back that you could keep made up. Really nice mattress. And then you've got storage above that, and then storage above here. And obviously you can put this away and make this into two, if you've got storage here, you can make two seats, but other than that there's storage. You've got your D-rings at the bottom for anchorage. And then you've got these lovely back doors that open up. <laughs> so you like this one then? Yeah, yeah. I do actually. Yeah. Well, I do okay. like it. It's got no oven, Sue. No oven, no. No well, microwave. So you'd have to use your ridge monkey. You would, yeah. But I think it's a lovely little uh, a compact camper. Yeah, is really that is. brand new? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's lovely. It's got I a bit wet in the rain, isn't it? I've left get, the back doors open, haven't you? You get loads, loads. How much was it? Uh, 46, yeah. You get I'll a lot for your money. We put the uh, spec up front. Yeah. yeah just Right, so I'm just going to see whether the back door's shut now or not. So here's the back door shut. So that's a brand new Fiat Ducato uh, Remore. And that looks rather smart. Love the bright white colour and livery. Really like that. And round the back, you see with, with, from the back with the door shut now. And uh, there you go. Smart looking van. Have another look at this uh, Remore, which is a uh, coach built. It's a little dinky one. I like looking at little dinky ones. Um, there's no uh, window in the door on this one. 52k. Well, Sue's already inside. Let's go and have a look. What are you doing then? Drop down bed. Oh, drop down bed, okay. Well, that's a good start. And then you've got... Nice lounge. Seat belts for yeah. For Very four, spacious lounge for a little van, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it needs to fit four cool. seats. I'm surprised at that. Got a manual bed. So then, they're not swivel seats, are they? Hasn't got the blinds in the front, has it? No. No. And there is a bit of storage, shelf and storage here. A nice. Yep. Nice window nice in the window. room from the cab. Nice window, makes it nice and light. Yeah. Okay, so what we've got around here, we've got um, somewhere yeah. to put the TV. This is quite a big cupboard, isn't it? Or your microwave, big perhaps. Big storage cupboard. Yep. And it's got Truma heating. 
We've got a little controller there just inside the door, and it looks like is there a fly, fly screen? Fly yeah. Fly screen, yeah. Fly screen. Okay. So what you got in the kitchen, Sue? And then you've got three burners. Three burner oh, that's good. And then squeeze by. The sink. The sink. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got, you got fridge. Fridge. With a freezer compartment in yeah. it. More storage. This is going to be your cutlery drawer, isn't it? That's a cutlery yeah. drawer. Yeah. And a cupboard underneath. Mm -hmm. There's a bed there. Yeah. Okay. So and then this up. bed, you've got an extra little bit. Oh my word. Cushion five, that six. can go on here. I see. You don't want the cut off. Yeah. Uh, it's quite light with these all these windows and a yeah. roof light. And then yeah. Very spacious. Three, three Huge bed, isn't it? Above. For a little van like this and a little curtsy yeah. um, curtain. And then in the washroom. A step down to the shower. Yeah. It's quite a, quite a step down there, isn't it? Nice size washroom design. though. Yeah. Then, you've and then you've got, got a little toilet basin here. and then a vanity basin with storage yeah. underneath. Yeah, nice mirror above. Yeah. And storage down below there as well. Yeah, yeah. so it's got a good size, not a bad size washroom, is it? Oh, that's right. You've got stor generous, obviously storage underneath the bed. Yeah. Well, this is a proper little TARDIS, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, very good. That blinds, it's got blinds, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, and some storage up here. Storage. So here we are from the outside. I reckon that's about that's at six and a half metres. And uh, got a camera on the back. And there's a garage. Yeah. Oh, a huge garage. Gosh, That's under there. this big bed. Yeah. Yeah. So you could lay cycles in there, I reckon. Or your folding bikes. And then you've got LPG. Yeah, your gas lock around here. More outside storage just down here. Yeah, nice motorhome. Yeah, because it's not very long, is it? Oh. Not very long. It seems to have an awful lot of space for a short it? van, yeah. There it is. We have a look at the Ford. This one's a Ford Evo 5, it says. And uh, let's have a look at the spec on this one. There you go, Remore Evo 5. And go 50,000. Nice little steps up into it. Yeah, just taking a picture of that. That's all we got in this one. Lots like of space again. The slots in it. Yeah. Well, you got the little um, like dining room dining for four. Area. Yeah. You've got Can't they go? If there's a seat belt here or not? There's a seat belt. There's a support cushion for the belts, isn't it? So you've got an over cab on this one. Over cab. Bed yeah. with the steps, and there's a light up there. I can see. Which is really useful. That's a Ford. And it's on the Ford Transit Manual. chassis. In the manual box. These are nice. Yeah. Lovely thick chairs. Yep. And a, and a courtesy um, a curtain around the cab, which is really good. And a microwave. Oh, and a microwave. And a phone going off. Fridge with a freezer yeah. and, and the fridge bit at the bottom of that. Yep. So that's nice. And More storage there. Storage there. And that yeah. must be the wardrobe. Well, it's got no hanging rail. No hanging rail. Oh, okay. You could put one in, I suppose. Yeah, I'm sure you could. And then you've got storage up here as well. Yeah. Very high ceiling because of the over cab there. Little Thetford oven. Yeah. You've got a little what? And the fridge. Got the other end, it's got in the dry. So what have we got in the kitchen? Nice fridge. Right, so in the kitchen, we have got the three burner. Three burner hob. And you, nice know, you quite like the marble effect, don't you? Yeah, quite nice. Oh, yeah. They've got uh, oh look, they've got oh, um, a lot in there. Four kitchen roll holder. I like it. Oh, yeah. And Truma heating nice controls the just there. The storage above. Yeah. And then down below. Lots of storage in there. Lots of storage, a huge yeah, cupboard there. Loads of stuff, all your tins yeah. and stuff in there. And then another. Two drawer. drawers. I'm not sure how you open them. You have to press the button, don't you? Ah. No, press the button to open it. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we are. So there's a cutlery drawer. And then this is quite a deep drawer. Gosh, yeah. you can fit a lot in there. Yeah. yeah, it's like a vegetable bin, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Nice big window. Yeah. Two of those. Two of those, yeah. Trimaheaten. And I'm looking just to my right here. I'm grabbing this one for Sue. So, because in here there's a massive wardrobe. So there's your hanging rail suit. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Hanging rail. And then below that there's another cupboard as well. Gosh, there's lots of storage. Ah, oh, the boiler is in there. Your trimmer yeah. boiler. But there is space to store things in the top there. Now there's a door to the right here which I reckon goes into a garage look. My word, we'll have to look at that garage in a minute from the outside. With the grandchildren. Hide and seek with the grandchildren. They'd love it, wouldn't they? And um, ladder up into quite a high bed. Um, it wouldn't suit me. Um, my little short legs. Um, yeah. Old boy like me. Yeah. But this suit a fantastic van for a family, I think. And little skylight above, storage over the top there, little reading lights, and uh, cupboards for putting your clothes and things in. Window at that end. You can see what I mean by family. I mean, we've just got the washroom, haven't we? Which is this door here. And, oh, well, that's uh, another surprise, a little TARDIS toilet. And then a shower, separate shower with a door that closes and a sink within with a huge mirror. Now that's got a light in there and one of those forest shower heads. It uh, makes you wet all over. <laughs> Love it. And a hook. So, what we think of this one then? I think for the for, I know fifty thousand has still a lot of money, but in comparison, I think it's very good value for money, especially yeah. if you've got family. You do get a lot of van, don't you? There's even a twelve volt. A twelve volt socket down there. Socket down there, yeah. in a nice blue light. Yeah. I think you get a lot. I think. I think it's nice. You do get a lot for your money. It's nice and bright as well, isn't it? It feels quite yeah. open. You don't but it's a family van, in, isn't it, this one? Considering you've got all these beds. Yeah. It's a family van, isn't it? So, in the so you, you, you've got, store stuff up there. You've got room here to sleep six, is that right? Yeah, and we think there's two seat belts there, not one. Right. Two there. And so, two there. So you've got four travel yeah. seats and, and the two, two in the front. In the front. Brilliant. With a curtain lock dividing it. Yep. Well, here we are. There's the big garage we talked about. Oh, Sheila and Joe just coming out of the van there. And this is the big garage we talked about. Oh, massive. With a doorway into the van. Now, you could easily put a scooter in here, couldn't you? But, uh, or bikes. You know, your family bikes. I mean, if you've got uh, uh, a family of six, you're going to need a good bit of storage. And then round the back here, we've got camera. And uh, that's what it looks like. Boot access from this side as well. Lovely. And it's on a Ford Transit, Ford Transit chassis.